Hey, it's Pete's Dude Man. First, we're gonna change our avatar a bit here. Like I said, we, I might actually be making him look uh, a little cooler, I think. All right. Hmm. Man, I don't know. I'm just so attached to those Jet Set Radio boots. <laughs> I like those other boots, though. Alright, what do you think, Rose? He looks a lot better. Oh, yeah? The shoes still don't match, but I like the rest of his look. <laughs> he's pretty rocking. Yeah! He looks like he's gonna go out and, like, have a shoot down with the devil. Okay, now what's that? Is this the... No, that's... Where's the new thing I got? new bonus area where is it where is it man I, would, I don't think this game has a very good navigation for the levels it's kind of all over the place yeah, yeah look oh I could also choose shadow is the thing because I downloaded the shadow DLC it's free it's free to download the shadow DLC so what's the point of having DLC if it's fucking free on the first day um, that makes no fucking sense. Yeah, actually, I didn't think about it till you just now when you said like, that. Like, okay. I, I didn't think much about it because it's free, but you're right. It's like, well, then why is it not just part of the game? I mean, like, if it was part of the game, you could choose not to do it or use so, it. So why maybe, the fuck are you bothering? Maybe it's only free for, like, if you get the game early. You know what I mean? Maybe they're going to make it cost money later. I don't know. These uh, bonus sections all remind me of stuff from Sonic Colors. I'm getting kind of hungry, are you? Yes, I am actually. We should go get a dessert later. What do you think? Yeah. That was a little quick, quick easy thing. If I wasn't like doing a crap ton of artwork, I would bake something because we have a shit ton of baking material. Is that right? Oh, we have everything for baking. Huh. I don't know why I bought butter, though. I should learn how to bake sometime. You should. You actually might be really good at it. That's actually... Okay, so... I know not a lot of people would say this, but I would consider baking a good thing for beginner cooks. What do you mean? There's not as much flexibility with baking than with cooking. So if you follow the instructions to a T, your food's going to turn out pretty okay. All right. As long as you don't get your recipes from the internet, because you can't always trust the internet. Mm. All right. So far, so good. We might have to stop using the nickname Rookie if the kid keeps this up. That'd be great. Use my real name, please. It's Boskov. Well, we're all we're not gonna make it to Sonic in time. We'll have to go somewhere else for our uh, dessert. <laughs> oh, too bad. Because we can make jokes on that. Yeah, but like, we're gonna go get dessert at Sonic while playing Sonic. I th I really think that might be Brady from Awakening. We. I almost forgot the button, but I remembered right in time. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Doing the highlights on this thing. Oh. My eyes are, uh. Ouch. Your eyes are ouch? Yeah. Sounds like my eyes after or during work all the time. I stare at a computer screen way too much in my life. Yep. 
It's what? related to both your hobbies and your work. And my work. So I'm fucking screwed. I will be blind when I'm an old woman. Unless I get robot eyes. I really want an Ro option like that. You really want robot eyes? Well, as long as I'm unconscious during the process. Uh, I would hope so. <laughs> well, sometimes, like, with LASIK surgery and stuff, they actually have to have your eyes open. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Ooh. And so, you're not actually, like, I, I don't think you're unconscious during that. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't know. That's the reason why I don't want to do LASIK eye surgery, because, like, if I have to be conscious during it, I'm gonna see that fucking thing come to my eye, and I'm gonna, like, be twitchy as hell. And so then I'm gonna burn the shit out of my eyelids, and it's not gonna be a pleasant experience. Right. Find the computer room! Come on! They gotta get Vector to say, find the computer room. That's his catchphrase. <clears throat> so that whole thing... That's like, that became a meme of Vector saying, find the computer room, from the way that he said that in, um, in uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. Man, Taylor and I discovered that back when we played that game, and gosh, it must have been like late middle school or early high school, and we just thought it was the funniest thing ever. That was way before meme culture, you know? Well, I think that's kind of the basis of meme jokes. Like, they're really only funny to, like, young teenagers, unless they're, like, really clever. Yeah. Because I thought memes were really awesome when I was a kid, too. And then, like, as an adult, I look back and I'm like, what the fuck is with my humor? Oh, gosh, man. You know, there, there's so many things I watched when I was a middle schooler. And then, like, I go back and watch them as an adult. I'm like, God, why did I think this was funny? <laughs> like, there's some things that I think are still kind of funny, like film cow and stuff. But it's more of the absurdity of it. Right, as opposed to, like, legitimately being funny. And, I don't know. And, like, absurdity is timeless. Yeah. It's such a timeless, like, form of humor. Alright! Now we can destroy the Death Egg! Now we can destroy the Death Egg! Man, these levels are really quick. I'm just, I don't know. Just compared to, uh, what even Sonic mean? Colors, which felt like such a short game, these levels feel short. Although some of the levels in Sonic Colors were, like, super short. What is that? Is that a dragon? Okay, it kind of looked like a yeah. lobster at first. I think that's the back of the shirt. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, those are interesting gloves. Hmm. If you kiss, you want to... Oh, my! Master Luke! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I wanted to record this right away when it came out, but I just wish my throat was in better condition. Hey! Oh, we're ahead of... Uh, we're ahead of Team Eggman now. You know, you can't help being sick when you're teaching a bunch of Petri dishes. What? That's what kids are. Petri, Petri dishes? Speaking of kids, I had an awkward moment. It's not even because of the kids. I got sick over the weekend. I just got a cold and I haven't recovered yet. Yeah. But speaking of kids, I had a really awkward moment um, at work today with a kid. Really? Did one of the, your coworkers bring in their kid? No, no. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't like that. It was a customer's kid. Yeah, it was a someone came to the front desk and was getting something done with, and decided to bring their kids along. And one of the kids had to go to the bathroom, so she brought you know her little boy in the bathroom and was fixing up the little girl's, like, coat or whatever. I didn't realize that there was a little boy in there. Uh -huh. And so, like, I come out of the bathroom and wash my hands, and suddenly, like, the middle stall, the door started just slamming open and shut, and then it blasted open. There's just this kid sitting on the toilet with his pants down and everything. He's trying to talk to me, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I tried to get out of there so fast. And, like, the grandma didn't even, like, react to it. Like, didn't even think it was weird that their, like, child just slammed open the door with his pants down and talking to this random-ass woman. Like, <laughs> like, dude, do you realize where you are? This is not the, like, Walmart bathroom. This is a fucking, like, newspaper. 
Keep your kid contained. Teach him how to lock the damn door and not to say hi to random ass people. In case you didn't know, that's where Rosie works in a newspaper. Yeah. I work in a newspaper and we let customers go into our bathroom if they really need it. Well, of course. That's cool. We don't see Tails and Rouge interact much, which is too bad because they're both technological de geniuses. Geniuses. A death egg! Alright. Yeah, classic Sonic C's dealt with Death Egg before, maybe twice even? I think you do Death Egg in both Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Hey, the defense system's still up. I thought we shut it down. Probably switched over to auxiliary power. Not to worry. Sonic is on the job. He'll find a way through. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and then Sonic dies, and Tails is like, um, well, well uh... shit. At least he wasn't our Sonic. It'll be okay. They won't miss him much, I don't think. And then it makes this alternate reality where Sonic never existed and Eggman rules the world. <laughs> and there's like a small resistance of like all the other animals. I have no idea if this is referencing like the layout of the death egg from Sonic 3 because I never got that far. Um... Those classic Sonic games, <clears throat> they were just uh, a little much for me when I, at the time I was playing them. A lot of classic games I never beat because, man, they were hard and they were relentless. I mean, until Sonic 3, you couldn't even save. I am sucking at dodging these lasers. Can I travel on this? No. Well, then where do I go? Oh, there's a spring there. I didn't even notice it. <clears throat> My voice is getting worse, which makes sense. It's not going to get better by rapidly talking and overly exclaiming while I'm reacting to things. Mm -mm. But, uh, you know. <laughs> you might get laryngitis. Laryn laryngitis. Laryn, Larry, Larry, Gynus. Larry, Gynus. Larry, Gynus. Oh. Oh. Damn, I thought that dare was actually going to be filling. Well, it was a lot of stuff because it was steak and uh, mushrooms and mushrooms bread. and bread and yeah, it was a lot of stuff. And yet, both you and I are still hungry. Well, I didn't finish my soup. No, you didn't. Ow! I, mean, I guess you could finish your soup too. Well, the plan was to already eat it for breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna have more of that soup for breakfast. I'm pretty sure my milk's gone bad for my cereal. I just was not into eating cereal this week. Or last week. That's or the okay. week before. I just get bored of breakfast cereal sometimes. It's okay to get bored of food. I get bored of food all the time. Oh, crap. Time. Come on. Sometimes, man, he just lands so fast. You have to be really precise with your jumps. It's like, man, if you misjudge your jump at all, there is no going back. There we go. I'm probably pretty close to the end of this stage, I would imagine. Just judging by the length these stages have normally been. Well, this is weird. Okay. I mean, I'm not even really doing anything. This is all just cutscene. Oh, then I'm invincible. That's nice. It's nice when you're invincible. Might have something to do with the fact that you're smashing all those robots while you're in invincible. Yep, I was close to the end. <clears throat> I died once. Doesn't look like it affected me too badly. You only die once. Yeah, you only... You only die once. That would still Yodo. be YOLO, huh? No. No, uh, y Yodo? Y Yodo. 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 Mmm! I did get another glass of water I'm drinking. It's cause, man, my throat. <laughs> What'd I get? Scarf. Why? Thanks. Mustache. <laughs> it's Kamina! You can be Kamina. Oh, those boots are cool. 
Oh, and I get more stuff. I was gonna cut off the episode, but man, I'm getting more uh, stuff. More bangs. Cooler. Uh, okay. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.